now losing 146. Technology is 2.6 billion dollar takeover offer. There are so many hungry and thirsty seekers for what I have come to call genuine, authentic spirituality in the world. We have the opportunity for people to give to something that can go beyond their own church and their own parish. This alliance is able to give to the, the middle of the church uh, a voice that is louder and uh, more creative than it would have uh, otherwise had. The Alliance for Christian Media is speaking more clearly and more creatively today than at any time in its illustrious six decades of ministry. In a world where Christian media often gets attached with the adjective sort of wacky or manipulative, the Alliance for Christian Media represents a sane, faithful, hopeful alternative to a lot of what's out there. You take four steps to get to understand what the Alliance does. Number one, you start with your faith in Christ. Number two, your membership in the church. Number three, your belief that the Word of God needs to be spread, which takes you to the fourth, which is, hmm, what's the best strategy for doing that? Contemporary media. It's a rational progress that takes you right to the Alliance, and that's where I say people who think through that process will come and realize they need to support us. The Alliance for Christian Media has been known by several names since its beginnings in 1945. Today it continues its long history of producing and distributing quality resources through the use of the latest in emerging technologies. One of the most respected offerings of the Alliance is the weekly nationwide radio broadcast of Day One. When Jesus says no one comes to the Father except by me, we almost always hesitate. The most outstanding clergy of the mainline Protestant churches are given a forum to share their messages of faith to hundreds of thousands of listeners who tune in on stations that stretch from coast to coast and beyond. And now, thanks to the internet, these inspiring sermons can be played and replayed at any time for all to hear. Even more exciting, the stirring words and legendary lessons from historic voices are being reborn. Recordings from past decades of our Protestant Hour broadcasts will be re-engineered for the web so that theologians, pastors, students, and people from all walks of life can access their priceless wisdom and hear messages from the past that still hold meaning in the present. We know people who really have lost the way into their church that they grew up in and they're kind of looking for a way to reconnect with the body of Christ. Well, day one can be a first step for that. Whether it's the military personnel in Iraq or the grandmother who's bedridden or the student who's away from home, there is a touch on the radio or a click on the internet and you hear a phenomenal message. In addition to the Day One outreach, the Alliance for Christian Media provides a wide range of award-winning audio, video, and other resources for Christian education and spiritual growth, with selections for all ages and interests. Over the years, classic productions have provided audiences with deeply moving messages of faith and entertained viewers with the amazing stories of real-life heroes where, through faith in God, the impossible becomes possible. The thing that always surprises me, you see such a broad spectrum of materials for Sunday school class, books available, videos available, DVDs available, as well as the full spectrum of what is on the broadcast media. So I think what anybody is ever surprised at is not only the breadth and depth, but the quality of the work. Oh, you would feel so proud to use it. The Alliance for Christian Media remains the respected resource and cornerstone for members of the mainline Christian church. The Alliance's monumental resources, historic offerings, and future projects can only see the light when they are fully supported by contributions from people like you who believe in this unique work. The Alliance for Christian Media has a message for all that must be shared with all. John used to say that religion is not a contract with God, it's a relationship. He believed that we trust God and we reach out in that moderate voice of the mainline denominations that I just believe needs a place to be heard and that's what the Alliance for Christian Media allows us to give to people. 
I think its ministry is vital. I think the voices that it collects, the stories it collects, and then offers to the Christian community to share our important voices and important stories that aren't going to get told if this place doesn't exist. We have many areas that we can branch out into as long as we have the financial support to help us get there. I don't think there is anybody within the sound of my voice who can argue the power and the impact of the electronic media not just in the last 10 years, but in the last 15 minutes. There is no more important way to deliver the gospel of Jesus Christ than through the electronic media, which has been our mission for over 50 years. This is an urgent time for the churches that have represented the historic traditions of Christianity in the main line in America to be able to speak with uh, clarity and freshness and creativity and faithfulness, and this alliance powers that voice. You have to make time for it. And as a bishop once told me, there is no good reason why we don't take advantage of very good people and very good resources who want only to help. And that would be the Alliance for Christian Media. This is the hour, this is the moment for the traditional mainline churches of this country to stand up and say, we're gonna speak, we have a voice, and we're gonna make it be heard.